When the mind stops, there is no projection. This is the state of happiness. You become the empty screen of consciousness in our lives. We are constantly bombarded with concepts and ideas about ourselves and others. We are taught to acquire more possessions, climb higher on the ladder of success and become someone memorable. Many of us spend our lives trying to figure out who we are, what our purpose is, and how we can make a meaningful impact in the world. We create an identity, a persona, that we project to the world and operate from this position of ego. Being empty means letting go of all the concepts and beliefs that we have about ourselves and others. Have you ever felt utterly devoid of everything, as if there was nothing left inside, while this sensation might initially seem negative? It can. Open the door to profound transformation. We live in a world inundated with societal expectations and relentless pursuits. We construct egos and identities striving to understand our purpose and impact. However, amidst this chaos, we often lose sight of what truly matters. Emptiness isn't about non-existence or a void, but rather a perspective that transcends our limited perceptions. It reveals the interconnectedness of all things, emphasizing that nothing exists independently. Emptiness allows us to shed the concepts and beliefs that bind us, enabling us to be fully present in the moment, without any agendas. In this state, we can tap into our true power and presence free from societal constraints and mental limitations. Emptiness unlocks limitless possibilities in the eternal now by intentionally clearing our minds. We experience a sense of lightness and peace as we connect with our true essence. This state of emptiness isn't something we actively do, but rather a way of being where our identity fades. Thoughts decrease and memories dissipate. We discover a newfound confidence in our hearts, realizing that strides and preparation are unnecessary. There's no need to try to control or plan everything. Instead, we can trust the inner wisdom that guides our actions when we surrender to emptiness. We release the energy that was previously wasted on following the mind's projections. The greatness of emptiness lies in its ability to incorporate imperfection and disharmony, transforming them into part of the greater perfection. The process of becoming empty can challenge the ego which seeks security and control. The ego will resist bringing forth thoughts, memories, and fears to keep us trapped in familiar patterns. It's important to remember that the ego is not our true essence, but merely a mental construct. Simply be for the moment. Do not give attention to anything that appears or arises in your mind. Not giving your attention to something is itself emptiness. Your attention is one of your superpowers. It is so potent inside your being that wherever your attention goes, Whatever it lands on, you call it your experience. The one who observes both attention and inattention is greater than attention itself. So don't worry. Refrain from giving your attention to anything at this moment. Just for a few moments, let go of everything, as if a space has opened and everything is outside of it. Notice that any thoughts of the past or future or even your most intimate personal identity and memories can be left behind consciously. Let go of everything at times when we are alone. We feel a profound inner emptiness. This emptiness drives all our other motivations. The urge to fill this void to satisfy this longing compels us to think and act without questioning. We flee from our sense of insufficiency. We attempt to fill it with various objects or projects. Soon disappointed, we move from one temporary solution to another, enduring failure after failure, suffering after suffering, conflict after conflict. This is the fate of the average person of those who accept this cycle with resignation, believing it to be an inherent part of the human condition. The root of all desires is the one desire to return home to be at peace. There cannot be a moment in life when our compensatory activities— the accumulation of money learning and objects leave us profoundly apathetic. This can motivate us to seek our true nature. Beyond appearances, be aware of the processes of your body and mind, and you will begin to understand yourself. There is no difference between this understanding and the understanding of the totality of the universe. Your perception opens completely to reality in its fullness. 
You are the primordial consciousness. Life is just primordial consciousness. We are completely unaware of our true nature because we identify with our body, our emotions, and our thoughts. In doing so, we lose sight of our immutable center, which is pure consciousness. Therefore, only through silent consciousness can our physical and mental nature change. In this silence, the change occurs by itself. The problem is resolved and duality ends. You are left in your glory where nothing is understood and nothing needs to be understood. Even in this silence, you exist. The mind must achieve a state of silence completely free of desire and images. This state cannot be attained through suppression. But by observing every feeling and thought without qualification, condemnation, judgment, or comparison. When disinterested attention is applied, the observer fades away. There should be only calm observation of what the mind produces. Discover the facts as they are agitation subsides and the flow of thoughts slows. We can observe each thought its cause and content. As it arises, we become fully aware of each thought in its entirety. And in this total awareness, there is no conflict. Only attention remains, only silence. Where there is neither observer nor observed, the intellect serves as a defense mechanism, causing you to either accept or reject something when the intellect is absent, total attention emerges. Listening and speaking can occur spontaneously arising from reality itself with no mental production in silent attention. The mind is completely empty, allowing life to penetrate deeply when caught in acceptance or rejection. It is merely a play of words, memory, and intellect. However, in the state of silent listening, there is no room for right or wrong compensation or conclusion. They are transcended through intuitive understanding, whether known or unknown in total listening with attention. Free from memory, there is no conflict. There is only vision in silent listening, what is said, what is seen, which arises as response, and reaction is within your own self, with this perception of totality. There is real attention in it. There are no problems or conditioning only. Freedom. The action that arises from fullness does not owe itself to anything. Only action exists. You are functioning, and the self is absent. The goal of sitting in meditation is merely to find the meditator. The more you look, the more you will be convinced that it cannot be found. Fundamentally, you are nothing but you are not aware of it and project energy into seeking what you are, when through self-inquiry you discover that the meditator does not exist. All activity becomes useless. You reach a state of openness to the unknowable. You can sit and observe the EB and flow of perceptions. You remain present for them, but do not follow them. Following a thought is what sustains the ego if you remain present without becoming complicit. Agitation diminishes for lack of fuel. In the absence of agitation, you are taken by the resonance of stillness. At the moment, the thought of the self appears, you become self-conscious and are dominated by conflict in the absence of this thought. There is neither speaker nor listener, no subject controlling an object, only then is there complete harmony and adequacy. To each circumstance, therefore do not force your mind. Just observe its various movements as you would watch the flight of birds. This unclouded gaze allows all your experiences to emerge and become clear through disinterested observation. Not only is tremendous energy generated, but it also releases all attention from the various layers of inhibitions. Observe the awakened mind within your own. Consciousness. It has no form or color. No center or edge. Firstly, it has no origin. It is empty. Secondly, it has no place of permanence. It is empty. Finally, it has no destination. It is empty. This emptiness is not made of anything. It is clear and cognitive. When you see and recognize this, you will understand your true nature. You will comprehend the nature of things. You will then perceive the nature of the mind, grasp the fundamental state of reality, and completely dispel doubts about various topics of knowledge. This awaken. Mind of consciousness is not made of any material substance. It is self-existent and inherent in you. 
This is the nature of the mind, which is not easy to realize because it is not found anywhere. This is the nature of the mind, which is not constituted by a concrete observer and something perceived to fix upon. It defies the limitations of permanence and annihilation in it. There is nothing to awaken the awakened state. Of enlightenment is your own consciousness, which is naturally awakened in it. There is nothing that goes to hell. Consciousness is naturally pure in it. There is no practice to be conducted. Its nature is naturally cognitive. This is the great vision of the natural state within yourself. Recognize that it is not found anywhere externally. This awakened. Mind of consciousness is not composed of any material substance. It is self-existent and inherent in you when you understand this vision and apply it to your experience wherever you are, will become a retreat for your body. Any external appearance you perceive will be naturally occurring, appearance and a naturally empty emptiness. Let it exist free from mental constructions. These naturally free appearances will become your allies, allowing you to practice by taking appearances as your path internally. Whatever moves in your mind. Whatever you think has no essence. It is empty. The occurrences of thought will be naturally liberated when you remember the essence of your mind. You can take thoughts as the path and practice will be easy as the most inner counsel no matter. What kind of disturbing emotion you feel, look at the perception, and it will cease without leaving a trace. The disturbing emotion is thus naturally liberated. This is simple to practice when you practice in this way. Your meditation training will extend beyond formal sessions. Recognizing that everything serves as a helper, your meditation experience will remain consistent. The innate nature will be constant and your conduct will be steadfast. Wherever you are, you are never separate from the innate nature. Once you realize this, your physical body may age, but the awakened mind will not. It does not distinguish between young and old. The innate nature transcends inclination and partiality. When you recognize that consciousness, the awakening, is within you, there will be no differences between sharp or weak faculties. When you understand that the innate nature free from inclination or partiality is within you, there will be no difference between extensive or limited learning. Even if your body, the support of the mind falls. The wisdom of consciousness will be incessant when you attain stability in this immutable state. There will be no difference between a long or short lifespan internally. Whatever moves in your mind, whatever you think has no essence, it is empty. Imagine emptying your mind of all worries, judgments, and incessant thoughts. This state of emptiness is a gateway to true magic. It's a state of complete tranquility. It is an experience of existing in nothingness, and surprisingly, it is in this void that we find everything reflect for a moment on the mental overload upon waking up. The mind is already racing, thinking about what to do. Problems to solve and reviews of yesterday, it's an exhausting cycle that often involves memories of the past and judgments about ourselves. A true mental storm. Think of this emptiness not as a cold abyss, but as an ocean of serenity where peace is not just felt, but truly experienced in ESS, we gain the freedom to shed the masks. We wear daily, this occurs when we realize that constant worries about others' opinions dissipate, revealing our true authenticity. We discover that the true magic lies in being completely ourselves without layers of pretense. One profound experience to highlight is when, during deep meditation, all concerns about the past and future simply vanish in this state of emptiness. You find a clarity that is unattainable when your mind is filled with tumultuous thoughts. It's as if the silence of emptiness creates a space where true wisdom can manifest the emotional and mental benefits of this practice are remarkable. It's the moment we leave behind the burden of expectations and incessant self-criticism and simply exist. It's like lifting a weight off your shoulders, allowing the likeness of existence to flow. If a man crosses a river and an empty boat collides with his own vessel, even if he is bad-tempered, he will not be very angry. But if he sees a man in the other boat, he will shout for him to row properly. If the other does not hear the shout, he will shout again, and more, starting to curse all because there is someone in the boat. If the boat were empty, he would not shout or be angry. 
The effect of life in society is to complicate and confuse our existence, making us forget who we really are and, causing us to become obsessed with what we are not, we cling to our own point of view, as if everything depended on it, even though our opinions are impermanent. Like autumn and winter, they gradually pass from the moment we establish a form for ourselves. We must remember that we are merely awaiting its eventual exhaustion. We brandish our swords to fend off the challenges of this world, or we deplete them, as they also deplete us like a horse that rides until complete exhaustion. No one can stop us. Winter comes, the threat of our life ends, and we enslave ourselves in pursuit of an end. We never see with hearts worn out by tiresome labors. Never knowing a home to which we can return perfect happiness is to keep oneself alive, and only actions without action can have this effect. Perfect happiness is the absence of the struggle for happiness. You only need to rest in an action and things will transform. Let your mind wander in the pure and simple. Let all things follow their course, flow with whatever happens, and let your mind be free. Stay centered, accepting whatever is happening. Good order arises spontaneously when things are left in peace. Do not be absorbed by activities. Do not try to bear the world's burdens. Do not think that, you know remain aware of all that is let your body be the infinite, follow the path of possessing nothing, be everything that heaven has given you, being empty that is all just as the waves are not separate from the ocean, and the rays of the sun are not separate from the sun. You are not separate from existence. You are no different from existence from being before. Notions and creations. You exist. You are the unfathomable in which experiences and concepts appear. You are that which remains when experiences and concepts disappear. Purify the mind by removing all concepts, especially the concept of purity. Then the true self reveals itself to the empty mind, which is consciousness. Be still and observe your thoughts. No tension, no intention, simply attention. No struggle between inside and outside. Just stay relaxed and at. Ease is sit quietly and observe the mind. It will want to wander here and there to enjoy past experiences and pleasures. Do not cling to thoughts. Do not get entangled with thoughts and just be still behind the retina. And before the breath, you are that you are the heart, the void. This nothingness is what you are. And this is the supreme truth. You are this moment. You are the now awake sleeping or dreaming you are. The now this moment is the screen on which all projections appear. The screen is always still untouched and outside of time to be in this moment. Abandon all desires, including the desire to be in it. Identify yourself as consciousness itself. If you do not forget who you are, this appearance of activity is the cosmic dance if you live in consciousness. As consciousness, without taking anything as mine, you will live a very... Free life. You will be. Freedom itself. You will live very well. Very happily, knowing that you are the consciousness behind everything, and none of the dramas manifesting within it. Suffering may arise. Happiness may arise. They may come and go, but you will remain undisturbed, for you will know the truth, which is consciousness, and you will be living in it. You are the space within which all events occur. Whatever happens, must happen. So remain as peace, that which is unaffected by anything. Be this peace, and this peace will spread when you have an insight, an experience of this emptiness. You will be happy all the time, for you will know that all manifestation is your own projection. Then fulfill your role in the world, but do not forget that everything here is just a play on the stage. If you can live like this without forgetting your real identity, then all your activities will be beautiful, and you will never suffer. Experiencing a deep sense of emptiness, where it feels like there is nothing left inside, can be a profoundly transformative state in our lives. We are constantly bombarded with societal expectations, ACC, accumulating possessions and striving for success and recognition. We often search for our identity.
purpose, and ways to make a meaningful impact, leading us to create an ego-driven persona that we project to the world, losing sight of what truly matters. However, emptiness is not synonymous with non-existence or nothingness. Instead, it offers a perspective beyond our limited perception. It reveals the interconnectedness of everything, where each element contains the essence of the entire cosmos. Emptiness implies the absence of a separate and inherent existence, highlighting the intricate connections and interdependence of all things. We must let go of the concepts and beliefs we hold about ourselves and others. This means being fully present in the moment without any agenda or intention. It is within this state of emptiness that we can tap into to our true power and presence free from societal constraints, time frames, and mental limitations. Emptiness allows us to access the limitless possibilities of the eternal present moment. Emptiness serves as a gateway to the life force and creative energy that constantly surrounds us, but often escapes our awareness by relinquishing the hold of the ego. We connect with a timeless presence, intuition thrives, SP spontaneity emerges, and our actions align with the natural flow of life. While our minds hold an image of who we think we should be constructing a persona or identity is overrated, true seeing transcends these constructs recognizing our inherent nature. Letting go of the mind doesn't render us foolish, but rather frees us from its constraints. The mind remains a powerful tool for creativity and expression, but it shouldn't. Define us realizing the absence of ego and identity can be unsettling as it challenges our preconceptions. Yet approaching this realization from the heart reveals that our true self isn't tied to these constructs. Letting go brings freedom from associated pressures and fears, contrary to what we have been taught. The belief that we must have a meticulously planned strategy for every situation in life is not always necessary, A.R., when we trust in our true selves. We open ourselves up to guidance and surrender to the natural flow of life. Being burdened by concepts and ideas limits our minds and inhibits our ability to perceive the world in all its complexity and beauty. These preconceptions and biases act as barriers that prevent us from fully experiencing life. Our true nature is expansive, harmonious, and aligned with what is right. It is a profound sense of self-awareness that doesn't require explanations or justifications. It goes beyond the limitations of language and concepts, capturing the essence of the universe and its mysteries, is beyond their capacity. Emptiness is the origin of all things, and leads to genuine fulfillment and peace. Let go of all the concepts we hold about ourselves and others. We liberate ourselves from the expectations imposed by ourselves and society. This enables us to approach life without preconceived notions of what we should or should not do, although it may seem daunting to relinquish everything we know and venture into the unknown without a safety net. The truth is that we are constantly residing in the unknown, whether we acknowledge it or not. Similar to a seed sprouting into a vibrant and fruitful plant, each of us is born with the inherent potential to manifest our desires and aspirations at birth. We enter this world with a pristine slate unburdened by preconceived notions, beliefs, or concepts about life. This inherent emptiness grants us the opportunity to engage with life in its purest form, allowing us to learn and grow from experiences without the filter of preconceived ideas. It is important to recognize that the mind by its nature tends to hinder progress. When you embrace your authentic self, you expose the hidden fears that have been draining your power. These fears need to be brought to the surface and confronted. Although it may initially feel uncomfortable, it is crucial to acknowledge that these fears are not newly created but have been present all along. Enduring this temporary discomfort creates a space of clarity within yourself. Where surrender naturally occurs, becoming empty does not require a constant battle, but rather a serene surrender. It's the acceptance that our true nature is already complete. By understanding this, we dispel the illusion of the conditioned self, because becoming empty is not an action, but a revelation, an undressing of the layers that obscure our view of the truth when floating on a river trying to swim.
Against the current, we feel resistance and fatigue. But when we allow ourselves to float trusting in the current, we are carried smoothly and effectively, similarly by accepting emptiness. We are not swimming against the currents of life. We are flowing in it. The need to constantly do something often prevents us from simply being imagined carrying a heavy backpack full of worries, responsibilities, and expectations. Sometimes the most powerful transformation occurs when we stop bearing the weight of the world on our shoulders. Instead of getting lost in the labyrinth of your mind, become a conscious observer of your own thoughts. When we are empty, we are not acting on thoughts, but rather observing them from a detached perspective. As an observer, you can consciously choose to let go of thoughts that do not serve. Your well-being. Our mind contains an image of who we think we are and how we should be. But this game of developing a persona and identity is highly overrated in TR, seeing we don't need these constructs. We don't need the historical and hysterical being that we have constructed in our minds. There is a part of us that sees through all of that and recognizes our true nature. It's not that we become like fools when we let go of our minds, but rather we realize that our minds and identities are constructs that can limit us. However, it's important to note that the mind can also be a powerful tool for creativity and expression, but we should be aware of its limitations and not let it. Define who we are. This realization of no ego, no identity, and being no one can be scary because it challenges our preconceived notions of who we are and our place in the world. It can feel like we are losing our sense of self and our familiar ground. However, when we approach this realization from the heart, we can recognize that our true self is not tied to our ego or identity. When we let go of these constructs, we can experience a sense of freedom and release from the pressures and fears that come with them. Contrary to what we have been taught, we don't need a plan or strategy for every situation in our lives. When we trust in the power of emptiness, we can allow ourselves to be guided by our true selves. We can let go of control and fear and surrender to the flow of life in a culture that values knowledge and technique above all else. It may seem counterintuitive to suggest that the key to happiness lies in letting go of everything we know when you are full of concepts and ideas. You are weighed down by the limitations of your own mind. You are trapped by your own preconceptions and biases, unable to see the world in all of its complexity and beauty. You can perceive the world as it truly is, without any filters or barriers, and access a deep well of intuition and spontaneity that is always present within you, yet often obscured by the noise of your Thoughts, the true nature of ourselves is expansive, harmonious, and right. It's a self-taste that we can enjoy, and it allows us to be open to things that we cannot know. With our minds, there is a knowingness here, a natural rightness that doesn't need explanation or justification. Emptiness is possessing great power words and concepts could not fully capture the true essence of the universe and its mysteries. Emptiness is the origin of all things, a path to genuine fulfillment and peace. By letting go of worries and thoughts, you can open oneself up to the vast, the inspiring expanse of the universe where you can feel a deep sense of peace and connectedness to all things. When releasing the ego and attachments, you can connect with the divine source and experience the ultimate truth and beauty of the universe. So the first... Step to cultivating this emptiness is to simply let go of all the concepts that you have about yourself and others. Allow yourself to be empty to be free of all the expectations that you and others have placed upon you. Let yourself simply rise to the occasion without any preconceived notions of what you should or should not do. It may seem daunting to let go of everything you know to step into the unknown without any safety net to catch you. But the truth is, you are already in the unknown. Whether you realize it or not, life is constantly changing and evolving. And the only way to truly thrive is to embrace this change with an open heart and a clear mind. While the mind may struggle with this truth, the heart knows that when we let go of the idea of who we think we are, the pressures and fears associated with that identity vanish, do not fear the unknown or the blank slate that may seem to come with letting go. 
you will still carry your memories and familiarity with you, but now you can operate from the heart instead of the mind. You no longer need to act from the confines of your identity. You can now tap into a higher consciousness that allows you to see beyond it. This emptiness allows us to experience life in its purest form and learn from our experiences without the filter of preconceived ideas. The mind will always try to hold you back when you say yes to your true self. It exposes the fear hidden within you. This fear has been draining your power and it needs to come to the surface to be exposed. It may feel uncomfortable, but it's being brought up, not created. We need to bear this momentary fear and allow the Clear space of being to emerge out of this self-recognition surrender takes place hand over your existence entirely, to this seeing, to this adventure and exploration into the true nature of oneself. Don't hold back and don't let your mind give you excuses to say it's not the right time. Allow yourself to be guided by the wisdom of your heart rather than the limitations of your mind. Trust in the power of the universe to guide you knowing that you are always exactly where you are meant to be.